Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Death's Kingdom. This is Jacob. Deep Six just dropped the latest unified multimodal series. It's called Genus. So according to the GitHub documentation, this new unified multimodal series outperforms stable diffusion. You can see their metrics and Dell E3. So the Genus model comes in two series, uh, Genus Pro and Genus Flow. So Genus Flow is kind of based on the Genus, but Genus Pro is more advanced and it's bigger. So if you go to their GitHub repo, uh, basically they have Genus Pro 1B, Genus Flow 1.3B, Genus Pro 7B. You can see this is actually bigger and also Genus 1.3B. So in today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to install and test Genus Flow uh, on Kaggle. So that being said, Let's get started. So uh, if you follow the documentation, it's a little bit confusing. Uh, they have Genus Pro, Genus, Genus Flow. If you expand everything, it's quite uh, confusing. There's a lot of documentation and code. So uh, the easiest way to actually test them out is through the greater process. And if you go through the uh, Kago notebook, so I'll actually demonstrate how to set this up very quickly. So if you actually create a notebook called DeepSeek Genus and just download this repo and see this with Genus, just run pp install dash e gradle. So this will actually install every dependency for the Genus project. And also uh, just create a function to run bash command within Python and then install pyngrok and ungrok and also make sure you paste the ungrok token from the ungrok console. Then just turn all everything out uh, from the port 7860, which is the gradle port. So you can see this is actually the public URL. You can access the Gradle. So it's 2DD9. So it's 2DD9. We already tested. So you can see this is actually live URL. And this is the uh, same Gradle that uh, the DeepSeek team put on their uh, Hugging Face uh, repo. So uh, if you test it, you can see that um, there's two sections. One is for multimodal understanding, the image and text. right? The other one is to text the image generation. You can see uh, from their testing section, uh, there is a question, so explain uh, this meme, right? So you can see this uh, picture, and this has decoupled visual encoding and single visual encoding. So uh, question is explain this picture, right? And then you can see that the explanation is basically saying that this meme compares the strength of two different visual encoding methods, uh, decoupling visual encoding and a single visual encoder. So Basically, they explained clearly what this does, which is awesome. And you can see this text to image generation. You can also click some uh, samples here. So basically, we'll click the first one. This is called Master Shifu Raccoon Wearing Drip Attire as a Street Gangster. So you can see they actually generated five images, right? So pretty good. And quality is very good. And this is only 1B, like 1.3B. So it's very small. And it's actually outperforming the major text to image generation models, um, as I mentioned earlier, stable diffusion and Dell E3, which is crazy. Uh, so also uh, the, the 7B version, which is pro version, actually outperformed uh, all the models. But for the Gianna's model, the basic version is actually also pretty good. You can see these uh, blue lines here, right, which we're testing right now. So uh, let's go back to this uh, greater demo. Let's try that again. Um, so let's say we click the convert the formula into latex code, right? So let's test it. So convert that. Let's click chat. You can see this is actually this is response, right? So it's actually uh, text for this picture. So let's chat again. Com oh, this says convert the formula into latex code, which is correct, right? Let's chat again. So yes, so pretty good. Um, so let's go back to the Kaggle notebook. Also, you can see the memory usage. It's about like 10 gigs while we're running the model, plus all the compute, right? And as soon as you actually stopped it, it had drops back to less than five gigs. So which is the size of the model. So uh, let's go back to this um, Kaggle notebook. So this is for the Genus Flow, which is the basic version. And if you go to this uh, Genus Pro version, so, uh, so it's actually a lot bigger, but um, 
on Kego, you only got 16 gigs of memory. If you go to this um, 7D REPL, so they have almost 15 gigs. So you can see that's almost 15 gigs. So you cannot actually comfortably run the Pro version on Kego. You can run the text version. So, um, so which we already did. So you can see that the text version, the uh, multimodal understanding of the image and text, you can see this actually responded correctly. So then the, the this image is a humongous uh, comparison between the two types of visual encoding methods using the popular buff dodge and trims memory format and decoupling visual encoding, right? And also the two, second is single visual encoder. This is a lot more concrete. So you can see this basic model, they actually had an easier explanation. So let's chat again. So you can see this is actually a simpler explanation, but the pro version is more concrete. So which is better? But if you run this uh, text image, it will not work because it actually has need more uh, memory. So that's the issue. So if you want to run this text image for 7B, you might need to get a not bigger memory. So that's about it. So hopefully this is helpful. And if you do like this video, please subscribe, like, or comment. If you have any questions, thank you so much for supporting the channel and see you in the next one.